What I find in poker is that when you adjust for how people will behave against you, the flush draw is a much more powerful hand than a pair of aces. And actually, history has shown me I've lost more money on a pair of aces than I've ever lost on a flush draw by a mile. And so I take that type of thinking and apply it to markets, right? Mm. So, you know, a lot of people say, just buy, you know, just buy the winners. You know, just buy Google, just buy Facebook, uh, Microsoft, buy the FANG stocks. Um, you know, just buy momentum stocks. Uh, you know, and stop, you know, why do you question consensus so much? And what I found is that two, there's two things there. One is that I just don't think fund managers get paid to buy I think stocks. the tail is mispriced generally, yeah. is, what, is what it is. Yeah, they just don't. But also, you know, you turn up with a portfolio and say, you know, I'm long fang stocks. He's going to give you money. Yeah. And they can go buy a tracker at 20 bips. Yeah. The flip side of that, of course, is if you can pick out, a, you know, an area where everyone's long and miss, don't quite understand it properly. Uh, and, you know, you can you understand it better and then position yourself. You'll make money when everyone else loses money which actually, uh, from a fund management perspective is in, um, and from a client perspective, to be honest, is m- worth more than an index tracker. You know, a fund that actually does well. Well, by definition, there's more alpha in it. Yeah, that's what people pay for. Yeah. And so that's sort of well, how they should I, pay for. <laughs> well, you know, look, you know, beta is so cheap now. Uh, that's the only thing that people pay for. Uh, and so I sort of look at that type of, you know, that's the sort of way I think about I think that's how the industry is going anyway.